Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this insurance brokers dashboard in Microsoft Excel. This is a ready to use dashboard to analyze the broker commissions and the insurance policies and the other insurance related activities in Microsoft Excel. This is the overview page of this dashboard wherein we are showing the total number of policies total premium collected, total commission paid to the commission agents and this is the average premium per policy, percentage of the expired policies on this bar chart, percentage of active policies. This is number of active policies by commission type like how many we have on the percentage and how many we have on the flat rate. So this is the commission type for the active policies only. Here we are showing the number of policies by the policy status, how many we have the active, how many we have cancelled, how many we have expired and the pending. That is the percentage of that number of cancelled policies. On the left hand side and the right hand side we have created few slicers so that you can filter the data as per your requirement. If I click on any month then you can see data is getting filtered or I select any policy type then you can see it is getting filtered or I click on the insurance type then this is getting filtered you can see on the top we have given the navigation fan this is the overview page and if i click on the this go to agent performance as i click it will take me to the agent performance page here we are showing the agent level performance on this page this is the number of policies by the agent name so you can see on this chart and here we are showing the this is the number of active versus cancelled policies by agent region. So here we have taken the five different regions for the every agent. So we have uh, segregated all the agent into five different regions central, east, north, south and west. Okay, So we are comparing this by the agent region. This is the total premium collected versus commission paid by the agent on this combo chart. And here we are showing the number of expired policies by the agent name. That is the percentage of expired policies. And again, we have the slicer. So you can just filter this. Let's say I want to see wherein payment mode is annually. So this is only for those policies monthly or the quarterly or wherein commission type was flat rate or the percentage. So you can see that as you want and then the next page is the commission analysis page so you can just click here and it will take you to the commission analysis page on this page we are showing the number of policies by the commission type which is flat and percentage so these are the total policies and uh, you can see the maximum is on the flat rate then total premium collected by the commission type so this is in the percentage you can see not in the flat and this is the percentage active policies by commission type and this is the total commission paid by commission type okay and again you can filter the data as you want automatically that will be filtered using the slicers the next page is the policies revenue and payouts so here we are showing the total revenue collected in dollar by payment mode so we have three type of payment mode annually monthly and quarterly so you can see the total collected amount here and this is the number of active versus cancel policies by payment method so that is again annually monthly and quarterly okay you can see the active policies dark green this and light green is cancel policies this is the number of expired policies by the payment mode and this is the percentage active policies by agent region now again you can filter as per your requirement let's say I want to filter by month then or I want to see for this month or I want to see the policy type or insurance type as auto or health insurance or life insurance only so you can filter that accordingly it will show the all analysis. Now let me go to the monthly trend piece and here we are showing the month on month trend on the first chart we are showing the number of policies by the month this is the number of active versus cancelled policies by the month and this is percentage of expired policies by the month and here we are showing the total premium collected versus commission paid by the month so here 
we are showing all high level summary but if you want to see let's say only for the auto insurance this all things then this is for the auto insurance or the health insurance okay so whatever you want to see here accordingly you can filter that now we will show you the data also how you can add the data here so first let's go to the file and then go to the options go to the advance and just scroll it down and here just select the source seed tabs click on ok now here at bottom we can see all the seed tabs like overview agent performance commission analysis policy revenue and payout monthly trend here we have the data in the data we have the policy id agent name agent region insurance type client name then we have some other information like policy start date policy end date policy status premium amount then commission type commission rate and here we have the commission earned and this is the payment mode then here we have created few formulas like uh, active policies to get the number of active policies cancel policy expired month year and the total policy to create the calculated fields in the pivot table then we have created some pivot tables on the support sheet so on the basis of this support sheet we have created all the charts in all other pages and here we have created all the pivot tables wherein we are capturing all information to create the cards and the charts as well as we have put here the name of the page also in this black background and the white font so that you can identify these all the pivot table are for overview page so for overview page we are showing the number of policies then these all information we are showing and then if i scroll it right now we have come to the another page that is agent performance the second page okay for the second page we are creating these all pivot tables then this is for the third page then these are for the fourth page and fifth page okay so we have put the page name also here now we will show you how we have created this so if i come to the overview page you can just unprotect this and just go to the review and just unprotect this sheet then this sheet is unprotected and these all the charts which we have created are appearing here we will show you how we have created this one also but first let me show you these all design are based on the excel shapes and here we have used the various rectangles and the charts okay if you want to learn in detail these all different type of advanced level charts and how we can customize this type of slicers also you can join our udemy course we have given the link in the video description box wherein we have explained each and everything in detail how you can create your custom slicer as per your uh, dashboard theme and how you can create the advanced level chart like battery chart and this type of container chart and some other kind of charts also and you will get the practice file for each and every charts also so that you can practice with me inside that course the link is given in the video description box so you can join it i will quickly show you also here also how you can create this type of design let me add a seat here and uh, let's insert a rectangle from here so you can take this rectangle to create the background and then go to the save format and let's say i'm taking this kind of light color so this is what we have taken in the background and then you can create this type of header shape also so let's come to the seat one and here if you want to create the rounded corner like we have created you can go to the shape again and you can edit this shape so let's take this one okay so we can see the rounded corner here just pick this yellow handle and move to the right hand side to change the radius of the corners let's keep this here go to the view and uncheck the grid lines from here now we will insert another uh, rectangle the same rectangle so either you can make the copy of this copy and paste here so we have two rectangles and just make this a smaller like this and here we can fill the dark color let's say i'm taking this color and then go to the uh, same shape fill and you can change the dark variation of the gradient this one now just remove the shape outline just say no outline and same the background 
rectangle also and pick this yellow handle move to the left hand side so we will match the radius like this and reduce the height now all right so that is how we have created this shape on the top and then you can just take the text box or the word art from here let's say i'm taking this one and here you can put let's say insurance dashboard and you can take the white color font make it smaller now create to this type of navigations what we have done we can simply insert the other rectangles also or you can make the copy of this one press ctrl c and v or press ctrl d to make this duplicate just make this smaller and let's keep this here you can change the color of this one let's say i'm taking this color so we have taken this color here or you can take some other color also then you can go to the shape effects preset and you can choose a preset from here let's say i'm taking preset 2 and then you can keep this here okay then just make the duplicate of this ctrl d and then you can place this here here you can fit the white color ctrl d so that is how you can create more and then you can insert the text box here like i'm putting here overview base okay and then you can take the black font align the center center middle once you created this then you can press ctrl k and you can insert the hyperlink here place in this document let's say i'm selecting overview if i click here it will take me to the overview page okay so that is how you can create this and you can put the other page name also to insert the this type of card you can simply insert a normal rectangle let's say this one just drag that rectangle here then you can insert this type of rectangle also again so let's insert another rectangle let's say i'm taking this rectangle and just drag this here make this smaller like this and rotate this rotate left 90 and then place this here okay now for the bigger rectangle we will fill the white color and for this one we will fill this green color we can make the outline this one and uh, take the bit of the outline half point same for this one also same outline and uh, bit half point so that is how we have created and you can adjust the radius for this one also all right so the shape is ready this is what we have done here and then you can just use the gradient fill also go to the safe fill gradient and choose some gradient fill here like this once this is done then you can insert the text box just drag the text box here click on the outline of the text box go to the formula bar press equal to then just go to the support sheet and here we have created these pivot tables so let's click on the title of this and just hit the enter so we can see it is showing that title here also align this center center and let's say i'm taking this font color bold bigger go to the save format save outline choose no outline for the text box and uh, for the save fill take no fill press ctrl d to make this duplicate and just place this here and here we will connect with the support sheet and number of policies and just hit the enter now take this and click on the format painter and just click here now you can make this bigger and take slightly darker color so it is showing the number of policies here okay so that is how we have created all the cards if you want to learn in detail how we have created this type of charts also and this type of slicers also you can join our course to learn more about this the link is given in the video's description box. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.